Hey everyone, this is Dean with DCA Crypto. Today I wanted to cover the situation with the markets and crypto today and kind of go over the FUD that's going on with the SEC lawsuit, how it's going to impact you as a trader and impact our portfolios and impact you know the, the markets as a whole right now and what's going on with it. There's some differences between the lawsuits that I want to get into and just kind of go over what's going on exactly, what I think of it and uh, where we can go from here. So let's jump into it. All right, guys, as you can see, the market's been down over the last couple days. I'm recording this on the 7th, so it's a few days after the uh, FUD news with the SEC and the lawsuits against Coinbase and Binance US and Binance in general. And as you can see, the markets have all kind of all these tokens have dipped down because of this FUD a little bit, but not too bad. Uh, it actually held up better than a lot of people thought it would with this kind of news coming into the market. Uh, if we take a look at Bitcoin, uh, it was up here at 27,000 and dropped down to like 25.5 after the news of the, the Binance lawsuit. And then we had the we had the Coinbase news, um, and everything just kind of said, "Meh, no big deal." Um, kind of was priced in already. People people were like, "Yeah, they're going to go after Binance next." What do you expect? But uh, the difference between the two lawsuits here, I want to cover this a little bit here for you, for you guys and kind of go over the two major uh, two major differences between the lawsuits. The SEC has basically gone after Coinbase and uh, Binance US saying basically that they're both trading unregistered securities, but then they had this claim against uh, Binance US that they're doing fraudulent activities and the web of deception by CZ, Cheng Ping Zhao, the CEO, commingling customer funds. Now, I really highly doubt CZ was doing that himself personally. That's what they're kind of claiming here. CZ is like a multi-billionaire and seems like a really decent guy. I know I could be wrong. A lot of people thought that uh, Sam Bankman Fried was a wonderful guy and all that, but CZ is smart. He's an intelligent guy. And he's one of the richest, you know, people in the world of crypto. And I can't see him personally using customer funds. Now, I could maybe see someone at Binance US who may have been commingling some of the customer funds and maybe he wasn't aware of it. I guess we'll have to kind of see what kind of evidence is brought forward on this, but I'd be very surprised if CZ actually commingled customer funds. Now there is uh, other allegations that they created this separate entity of Binance US so they could get out of, you know, if, if they were doing anything illegal, they could just break it off from Binance and make it like separate so it wouldn't affect Binance specifically because supposedly Binance US is only about 2% of their trading volume total, so really doesn't hurt them that much. But uh, they supposedly have recordings or something of CZ saying, oh, I'm bragging that he's selling unregistered securities in the U.S. And I guess we'll have to see if they actually have proof of this or if it's just somebody claiming that he said it. Gary Gensler made some comments on his uh, Twitter post about this stuff. So the regulars claim, claim that Coinbase operated for years as unle unregistered, unlicensed securities exchange and elevated its interest in increasing its profits over investors' interest. Whatever. I mean, exchanges make profits. That's what they do. Otherwise, they, you know, there's no point in them being in business. Uh, that's just what they're going to do. Now, some of their trading fees are higher than other exchanges, but I guess they've had to do a lot more regulation and expenses than other exchanges as well because they're in the U.S. So. Basically, the lawsuits are different. Allegations against Coinbase are serious, but the complaint is more against Binance is more damning. It directly mentions CZ's significantly longer with heavier allegations. Uh, Commingling of funds for business versus businesses. The SEC claims that the Binance moved around customers' fiat crypto as the defendants pleased in an allegation against those against the disgraced former competitor. FTX, although it's worth pointing out that unlike FTX founder Sam Baker and Freed, who is facing 13 criminal charges, the U.S. has not yet leveled 
criminal charges against Binance or CZ. So maybe they will, maybe they won't. Hopefully they don't. Coinbase, uh, against Coinbase, the SEC alleges that the company for years operated as an unregistered national securities exchange broker and clearing agency. It also alleges that Coinbase offered, sold, and sold unregistered securities via its staking service. Now, I can see staking on an exchange being considered as selling an unregistered and unlicensed security because it does guarantee your return on your investment and that is one of the definitions for security. And I think they're gonna win that portion of the lawsuit. I think Coinbase is gonna get fined for this, but at the same time, they haven't really provided a path for crypto exchanges to register and license themselves for securities, selling secure securities as tokens. So I think Congress is gonna step in and, and push back and fire Gary Gensler, and they're gonna get him out of the SEC, and they're gonna bring in a new chair and a board and everything, and they're gonna do like a, I think they said a three person chair where they they vote on different things that happen in the SEC, and it's not gonna be controlled by one person. And I think that's what's gonna happen out of this. I think Gary's gonna lose his job. I think he knows it's coming. I think we'll get clear regulation and, and easier path for exchanges to register as selling securities and move about their business. Now, it's not illegal for us to buy crypto. It's not illegal for us to buy securities. It's illegal for them to sell securities as on, 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 you know, and not be registered for it. So hopefully it doesn't affect trading too much. Hopefully none of these exchanges shut down. I did hear that they've shut down some uh, token trading on Binance US. I haven't used it in a while, so I'm not sure if that's true. I forgot to check before uh, making this video. That's one thing I was gonna check and I didn't get a chance to. So uh, if you guys know about that, you can let me know in the comments and I'm gonna try to look into that as well in case someone has a question about it. But I haven't used Binance US in a few months, so I'm not 100% sure whether they've stopped trading yet or if they plan to. I saw something also about a lawsuit from Alabama and Wisconsin and a few other states against Coinbase where they want them to stop trading uh, these assets in those states, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. Hopefully they don't do that. You might wanna get your funds off the exchanges just in case. I'm, I'm a big advocate of that anyways. But the problem is I use Coinbase as my on-ramp for my US dollars into crypto for most of it. And I deposit my funds into Coinbase and then there's this stupid seven day hold on my funds um, when I transfer them from my bank and I can't withdraw from Coinbase for seven days. So for seven days, my funds are locked on there. So try not to put too much at a time and keep them locked on there. Um, so that's the only problem with having exchanges as your on-ramp. You can use like MoonPay and a few other options, transact and that in like MetaMask and you can use a debit card to deposit them on there but there is a fee and it's a lot higher. Uh, like Coinbase, there's no fee for me to deposit my funds from my bank account directly unless I use my debit card. So there are other options that are out there to get your funds into crypto and uh, not use the exchanges. So just keep that in mind if that's an option you wanna do. But I would recommend getting your funds off the exchanges in the United States just in case something happens and they you know, they freeze them for some stupid reason. You never know. But I think with Coinbase not really uh, being alleged as doing anything other than selling unregistered securities, hopefully they won't, wouldn't shut the exchange down or freeze it. So you just never know. So be careful, guys. I want to look at the tokens that were actually listed uh, in this lawsuit as securities. So they've got and the Binance case, BNB, Binance USD, Solana, Cardano, Polygon, Cosmos Atom, The Sandbox, Sand, uh, Decentraland Mana, Axie Infinity, and Cody. And then Coinbase, there was 13 of them. It was those tokens, but they also listed uh, Chili's, Flow, ICP, Near Protocol, uh, the Voyager token, which I don't even know why they list that one. Uh, it's pretty much dead. And Nexo. And then you got the SEC bragging on here. Today we charge Binance Holdings with this and that. It's like, you know what, Gary and your stupid SEC, 
Like you gotta come out on Twitter and brag about this. Gary is literally bragging about this crap on Twitter and it just pisses me off. The guy, the guy needs to freaking lose his job. He's nothing but a piece of, you know what, in my opinion. He, he says all these stupid smart ass comments on Twitter all the time about crypto. It's like the same guy who was bragging about crypto like five years ago and saying, 75% eh, of tokens that are in the market in the US right now are not considered as what we would consider a, a security. Uh, only maybe 25% of them would be, but 75% of the tokens are out there are not what we would consider security. Then he gets put in as the head of the SEC and all of a sudden everything's a freaking security now. So the guy is obviously being paid off by someone to do this crap and who knows with uh, what's going on in the government. But Gary Gensler has claimed that every everything other than Bitcoin is a security. And then he made the stupid comment too about Oh, we don't need any other digital securities in the U.S. We already have the U.S. dollar and the the euro and all these other uh, forms of uh, fiat that are already digitized. We don't need any other digital currency. Yeah, well, you better get with the times, Gary, because uh, sooner or later you're going to get pushed out of your job because you're pushing innovation and technology out of the United States instead of embracing it and regulating it so it is a, a usable and good thing for the US because crypto whether he likes it or not is the future and if they don't get on board they're going to be missing out and thank God we have some people in Congress that realize this and hopefully they're going to make some changes soon. That's all I've got for this video, guys. I wanted to make sure I at least covered it for you guys. I know a lot of YouTubers already covered this, and uh, I wanted to give you my input on it, what I think. I think it's business as usual. Buy the dip, and when the FUD comes in, it just gives us a buying opportunity. That's how I look at it. Uh, I'm not worried about it too much. Uh, I guess we'll have to kind of see how this plays out, and uh, hopefully they don't start shutting exchanges down the u.s like a bunch of idiots and hopefully it doesn't affect us too much but i'm going to keep buying and just moving my tokens into my storage wallet and uh we get this bull run the next couple years and uh cash out on all these uh dips that we're buying into it'll be a, a wonderful thing that we'll look back and see these as buying opportunities instead of scaring opportunities you know, uh, buy when others are fearful. That's that's the way to win this game. So keep that in mind. Uh, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel, Yes You, and uh, hit your notification bell and uh, get my videos out daily to you guys. And hopefully I continue to do that. I do have the uh, Telegram that's free as well. And I, too, I do try to get uh, anything, any new projects or anything as I get them uh, into that as, as quickly as I can for those people. Uh, before anything comes out on YouTube, it hits the uh, Telegram channel. So you can join that. It's free right now. I'd appreciate that. And we've just got a little bit of discussion going on right now in there. And I'll try to respond to you as soon as I can. It depends on how busy I am with work and family and stuff. So I do work full time uh, as an engineer. So I, I got work to deal with all the time. So, But I, I'm in there daily and, and answering people's questions and stuff when they have them. So go ahead and jump in there if you want. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below what you think of this whole SEC thing and if you think uh, anything's going to be majorly affected from it or not, if it's just business as usual for you too. And uh, let me know if you've heard of anything else that I missed in this video about this and I'd love to hear about it. I uh, didn't get to dive in too deep into all of this and I do have the uh, actual lawsuit uh, papers uh, pulled up that I've started reading through before I made this video on what the claims are and some of it just sounds way a little bit too far-fetched they really don't hope I, I sounds like they don't really know what they're talking about with half of it um, so we'll see how it unfolds but that's all I've got for this video guys I appreciate it and we will see you on the next video thanks <laughs>